I encourage people to read at a minimum of 30 to 40 pages of something positive every day to program your mind. And, and all of us can do that. We can go to the library and check out books. When I think about Art Mandino, who wrote The Greatest Salesman in the World, he was on the verge of committing suicide. Went wow. to the library, read the book Think and Grow Rich, and his life turned around. So reading and programming ourselves, the reason that, that most people should do that, psychologists say that 86% of our, our self-talk is negative and it goes undetected by the conscious mind. That's why we're taught, be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Listen to recordings and things that are positive. Go on YouTube and find things that, that will begin to empower you. And minimize the distractions in your life. We have so many distractions. The weapons of mass distractions cause most people not to begin to live their lives from the inside out, but from the outside in. You know, there's an African proverb that said, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. Shakespeare said the fourth year Brutus is not in our stars, but in ourselves, and we are underlings. So you have to program yourself, or your mind will be programmed. The other thing is that have goals that's beyond your comfort zone, because in order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. You've got to become a risk taker. This God said, if you're not willing to risk, you can't grow. And if you can't grow, you can't become your best. And if you can't become your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? And the other thing is upgrade your relationships. Mm -hmm. You earn within two to three thousand dollars of your closest friends. You've got to look at the people in your life and ask, what is this relationship doing to me? There are many people because of the toxic, negative, energy draining people in their lives. They will never be successful because those toxic relationships will compromise their power. There's a new term in psychology, in psychiatry called relational illness. There's some people that can make you sick. Now, some people might say, Les, can we change them? No. It's a full-time job, full job changing yourself. And there's some people that's so negative, they can walk into a dark room and begin to develop.